Attention gamers, Jin, aka Counting Dracula is one of the best ADCs in League of Legends. A well-balanced kit, a skill-based alt, unique build paths, some may even go as far as saying he is the perfect champion. But the problem with Jin can be summarized by one number. Four. You see, Jin players have an obsession with four. Every Jin fantasizes about a play where they do exactly 444 damage on their fourth shot of their fourth ability to give them their fourth kill, exactly four minutes into one of Rav's videos but the quest to achieve more, of the four, often results in bad decisions. You have one of those babies loaded up and all you can think about is four, you see nearby enemies? Four! You see some Bustio Nuts titty action in the load and screen? Four! You see a new Rav Rambles channel video? Four! But when you try and score that perfect four, you often find yourself taking your countin straight back to fountain. And this is league so when your greed puts you behind on an ADC, all you can do for the rest of the game is think of excuses for the next time you get caught red-handed. Rav Hun, I'm home. <laughs> Turn around, let me get your back. Rav? Rav what the f- Oh hey babe, this is War Maiden. you know from Raid Shadow Legends, I caught her all alone in the sewers of Arnok just absolutely wreaking havoc on some beasts, but it was disgusting down there so I told her we could clean up at my place, hope you don't mind. There's a busty half-naked girl in my shower and that's all you have to say? Well you could totally join us next time if you use my link in the description to download Raid for mobile or PC and well 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 if it isn't miss I yell at my husband when I see him showering with other women. Where have you been? I downloaded the game and discovered an entirely new faction, the Shadowkin. They are so mysterious, so diverse, so badass. They just reappeared after hundreds of years and no one knows if they are good or bad or why they came back. It's crazy like what a time to be playing this game. Yeah that new Shadowkin champ Sachi has it all. AoE, ally buffs, the ability to revive teammates. A body you like to look at. What? Did you know Raid has anniversary events and tournaments going on? Like we could get free rewards if we move now not to mention the first ever clan vs clan tournament and two new bosses to the Doom Tower. Anyways, what are you watching? Uh. Use the download link in the description or scan my QR code to get free rewards like silver gem shards and a dank champ that will help you stop the early stages of the game. Okay so spoiler from the intro I was supporting with Dark Harvest on the electric green bean alongside Coffin Caterpie with the goal of being the aerial alt assault ass hats and sure enough Mr. Tiptoeing Taco comes twirling his revolver looking for that juicy 4 so I hit him with a sit still bitcher then flash to combust a nut to slowly burn him off. The bomb rat tries to deliver an entire baker's dozen of fuse balls so I run over to request a heal proving once again that I am, a masturbator. And then similar to my sex life I try to bring the job to completion but certain things aren't long enough to get it done so I just watch the spit happy murder porn ensue from afar instead. Then this Jin keeps muttering shit about some performance and I didn't know what he needed me to do to help set up so I just panicked and hired a clown which I thought was going well until he runs away crying. So I resort to hitting a brussel sprout on Bobby Bomb butt and then I let the clown deliver the final frown. Turns out someone called Gimli and told him we have been shit talking the Lord of the Rings all game so needless to say he comes down wanting to have a word with us but let's see how this Jin acts in this situation. Ah of course he wants to score that juicy 4 having forgotten that Chester the jester I hired for his dumb performance was still on the clock down here so yeah he gets puked on and punted. This distracts the fickle ginger who wants to be the hero but he quickly realizes he's not cut out to be an avenger when deep down he knows he's just a fat dwarf that wanted a precious ring with a shiv in his back. To which he immediately came in for revenge only to bust a nut on Faco like a board certified dumbass straight out of the rift tutorials as I lightning the loser and little larva spit McGee gets the kill. Ah and this brings me to another symptom of the little phantom of the opera simp syndrome where any opportunity to hit a thin beam rooter scooter must be taken even if it means standing still long enough to get bathtub toastered and sky spewed to death. This leaves the little hexplosive homunculus all alone to try and defend one of the same statues that he excels at killing as he douche devices us for no reason, so I say K wanna play it that way eat a green gagger and choke on this cog vomit torpedoing from the cloud you cocky bomb rat. Then I deem it a good time to head back for some light refreshments and more things that will help me in my quest to repetitively invert this Jin's anus but I guess he wore his virgin for eternity undies today cause he felt it necessary to interrupt my back. So in response I grabbed my chode caterpie and said let's teach this Tommy tip toes a lesson cause sometimes you have to take the skinny jean sing sluts by the balls stare them in the eyes and send them off glowing for them to learn some respect. 
and a minute later when we all reconvene I take a short hiatus upriver to do support things you know like a fully aware smart player but little did I know this four fetish horse fit magnet practically had a basket and was just trying to catch the acid pukes falling out of the sky so I called an audible launch the power plant quarterback simulator and delivered one for the boys. Then since we had full bot priority it only makes sense for our jungler to be top taking rift when dragon was up you know small disagreement in macro gameplay decisions I say tomato he says I'd rather do dumb shit and lose this game but luckily a common syndrome of a greatest showman of death here is to be the hero with an auto stun but it just landed him and sit still shut up and eat this burst plattersville. Anyways the bot lane butt buddies had now ventured mid to see if they can progress their quest to hand feed all the creatures of the rift alike as Ziggs runs into Echo's edgy uncle in river to no one's surprise they get caught like a carp in a swimming pool the ravi boy celeb shot comes out and Jin earns his ravenous feeder stack by giving a new enemy the kill. That said there's a big objective in the form of a steroided scuttle crab that likes to nose tackle towers in river so we run to contest but we find ourselves more outnumbered than a stripper at a bachelor party so I just decide to take my post chipotle grade shit on this Aurelia from safety rather than overextending more than a broken rubber band like I normally do. I then deem it a good time to inform this hobbling fuse dick that I can see him and that responding to my warning by sticking around to clear a ward is a bad idea considering there's a booby trap in a clown costume en route but the sigs will forever be able to tell his grandkid little furry fucks about the epic time he shit his pants. Let's check in on how a feeding ADC who got behind in a game behaves in its natural habitat. Okay and at this point I am setting the scene for some over the wall rub tug this death fetish music man into the grave action but someone must have paid off this fat frog to be a total dickhead so I decide to go the flashy route to get the job done. And I don't know if it was bad parenting or what but this Olaf never seemed to learn that you won't get your way by throwing hot headed temper tantrums. Back to the man who has been counting in fountain all game and looks like he wants to take his fourth shot for a little walk you know show at the world until the world says hey free food and word on the street is this guy keeps tacos on him. But then Viagra makes an epic mistake by assuming the identity of a feeder, couldn't be me. But hey whatever gets your wiener wet am I right? And I am feeling it at this point call me Tom Static Electricity Brady as I land a thick center scope W on the feed fetish number slut and then I launch the Kobe kill simulator and unfortunately for him spending all your cooldowns while walking in a straight line during a Zerath alt is like spending all your money on blockbuster stock in 2003, not quite it chief. But hey keep your head high things may start to look up for you despite that absolute disgrace of a W into Tim Buck 2 because a pile of barren boosted hoodlums and a bouncy boy will get the job done. And you can tell he's already feeling better, you can see a little pep in his pathetic step, things are going to turn around for him now it's a And damn you could name this kid school supplies with how comfortable he is chilling in a backpack and getting carried but unfortunately in the presence of the first polar bear on the moon. Being able to count all the way to 4 just seems a lot less impressive so he dies and then we get quite the entertaining performance of two bruisers playing this game to its full potential in a Russian slap fest until the little J Lo bomb booty comes in to tip the scales. This allows them to enter our private property and vandalize our shit and I guess it's a fun game they play as a family to take turns trying to touch the butt like they saw in Finding Nemo as Jin goes first then backs out and then Olaf goes but his escape plan ran off with his brain cells so naturally he just kind of sits there and dies. But then we hear that he is out telling people that he survived that last fight and I am like bruh have you ever heard of the expression liar liar pants on fire to which the evidence of his dishonesty becomes apparent. So we decide to hit a quick jerk of the worm in river to imbue our bodies with that purple shit and despite me having to whip out a number from the golden girls routine, it works out. But for every feeding ADC there is a fed as fuck mid laner tryharding to prove that bot diff means jack squiddly squat so we all rush back just in time bite those nails baby as we take them all out before our nexus throws in the towel. And I know what you are thinking, this downright dog shit Jin is actually about to win but come on guys give him a break, in the next team fight he really went above and beyond by auto attacking a jack in the box once before awkwardly not contributing anything at all and having to flee as the sky takes its green pee. And we learn the effects that Leandri's dots have on the only to have to immediately back because their solo laners just got done hanging motivational split push posters all over their bedroom so scare the time tits away and then deal with the bladed Betty Diamond drawing douche canoe of dashing death were at the top of the honey do list where honey was some LP and boy did I want to do her. And yes I know Rift Alexa has been verbally jerking off this Echo's ego all game but I've said it once, I will say it again, more CC equals more GG as he dies in my stun. We get an elder, 
deal with that split pushing pussy one more time and then watch them all lose hope. So to that, I can say I am thankful for Jin syndrome because anyone with brain cells is their ADC that gain and we 100% lose. Check out Boosted Betty on YouTube for my journey to Plat and Rav Rambles for variety content. Rav out.